holiday beans or vignettes and welcome to vlogmas day two so today is december 1st and it is a sunday which means that it's probably going to be a very productive slash productivity based day sorry i had to turn the light on because it was a little dark if you didn't know i'm in middle college so i have finals at all different weird times this week is a finals week i have three final exams this week but they are all for my online courses so i can take them whatever time i want this week as long as i get them done by a set day i have a spanish final due next monday i mean next sunday night i have a social problems exam due next Sunday night and I think my psych exam is due Wednesday of this week so I'm probably gonna do that Monday or Tuesday so you guys will see that later but I do have some things I want to finish up such as studying planning out some stuff and then I also in today's vlogmas episode I want to go over my 2019 Christmas wish list because you guys actually really want me to do that video so I'll probably do that sometime else in the vlog right now it is literally 12 56 I've been doing stuff for a long time I woke up mad late today I woke up at like 10 o'clock didn't get up to like 11 and now I am on YouTube and I'm watching this girl named much Elib. I think that's how you say it and she is so good i'm feeling so inspired for the 2020 year and honestly i have been writing down like how i want to get ready for 2020 and like things i want to do to prepare for it so if you guys want a video on like what i'm doing to get ready for the new year even though the new year shouldn't be a signal to do new things most people do that anyway and i honestly don't blame them because a new year new beginnings even though it can change your path any time of the year i feel like a new year is just a good way to get your ready mark ready you know what i'm saying i really don't have that much planned today besides studying for my finals and then doing some last minute notes and just revising and everything like that i'm working on my merch restock because you guys asked me so i have to actually contact my merch peoples new designs coming your way may or may not be coming out this month regarding christmas things like i said earlier we're gonna go over my christmas wish list once i get dressed and then i will see you for the rest of the day in the vlog so on that note i'm going to go ahead and start getting ready finish up watching these youtube videos that i have planned about how to create an intentional life and getting your life together and i'll see you guys in probably an hour or two it is now 4 24 i've cleaned my room did some laundry packed up to go back to my mom instead of sitting here and just listing off everything i want for christmas i'm going to be telling you what i want for christmas as i do a face mask and a deep conditioning later tonight because it is my self-care sunday so i'm gonna be shaving and everything like that so i'm gonna be doing a face mask and deep conditioning my hair as i tell you my christmas wish list so make sure you stick around to see that i don't know what my dad cooked for dinner i'm not really doing anything right now i'm just watching bullet journal videos because fun to watch but tricky to do for me i tried doing a bullet journal didn't really work we have a lot of things on the list for tonight and i hope to see you there if you decide to stick around in the video so i I'm back home at my mom's house and I realized that I can't really wash my hair until I fulfill and pack up some merch orders. If you didn't know, I released merch on Black Friday literally last week and everything except for four sweatshirts sold out. And if you're interested in getting those four sweatshirts, the link will be down below. But I sold out of everything else, which means I get to package and ship off everything in this entertainment center myself because I ship everything myself if you did not know that. Also, I got a cool new thing and I want to show you because this is, this is how I'm living. You probably don't know where I am and that's normal because I never come in here. Here, it's our bonus room aka where we put stuff that we don't know what to do with my mom found this cool thing Maya what are you doing my mom got this cool blanket off of it was it like, Maya I don't know where my mom found these I'm just gonna say it's Groupon because Groupon got everything but she got us these blankets right oh no I have a hangnail and it may look like an ordinary blanket from the outside right but then you read the description you get it in the mail and there's a hood on it and then there's pockets on it it's like a snuggie except not tacky because when snuggies were out they were ugly and they were tacky and they didn't make no sense literally the snuggie used to like put it if you're if you don't know what a snuggie is you used to like put it on you and you would just sit there with your arms through the sleeves and that's it but now i can wrap my entire body in this thing because it's so big i don't know i just thought i should tell you that cool find and then there's like things at the end and then you can like pull them to make the hood smaller so i thought that was cool it's really not but i need to pack some merch before i wash my hair and that's what we're gonna do i am going to be filling 10 merch orders a day that's the goal. I can have everything shipped out by Friday. So the way this process goes is that I actually have all my merch sorted out, packaged. It's just the fact of actually connecting the order to the printing label. So the way I have this is I have three merch designs that I had available and each merch design has a different form of mailers. So that is the 
I'm in control. That is the I am enough. And the pink is the I do what I want sweatshirts. As you can see, they're sorted by size. I literally have to go through my Wix website and go through my store orders and go through each individual order and see what people ordered and connect it with their number ordered. So last order I shipped was 129. So I write the order number on here and then I stick it to the package. So I just connect the order number with the package. Simple as that. Really not that hard. So let's go ahead and start marking these packages up. How could I pack merch without listening to Merry Christmas, Lil Mama. All of these packages right here are tagged and labeled with the order number. So now all I have to do is make the labels, print them out, and put them on each package. I want to get at least these three rows out by tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and start making these labels. Labels are now secured. So I'm gonna go ahead and print the, what are they called? Labels and then start pasting them, not pasting, taping them onto the packages. Wow, this is a mouthful. And I've been doing this for about 20 minutes now. It's taking me 20 minutes to make the labels and sort everything. It's the taping part that really gets me time-wise. I'll let you know how long it takes me to tape nine to 10 packages. This should be interesting. Labels are done and now it's time to chop these babies. <laughs> This entire pile of packages is going out. I was taping and putting labels on packages for about 20 minutes. So this takes about a 30 to 40 minute process just for about 10 packages as a whole. I'm gonna be sending the rest of those out Tuesday, which you will see in Vlogmas Day, I believe, or if I do my math right. But these are actually gonna be sent out tomorrow. I'm not taking them. My stepdad takes them on the way to work. The last step of this is cleaning up my mess. So let's go ahead and start cleaning up. When it came to doing my Christmas wish list, which is what you're probably here for, I wanted to do it by 8.30 because my first day of Vlogmas goes up at 8.30 today. So I want to wash my hair deep condition and film the Christmas wish list by 8.30 and it is 7.28. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some last minute cleanup things in here and then hop in the shower and wash my hair. You know the drill, I'll see you in a couple minutes after my shower and after my hair is clean. One hour later. In the shower, I wash my hair with the Love Beauty and Planet shampoo, and then I skip conditioning and went straight to deep conditioning with the Diva Curl Matcha Deep Conditioning Err. Or a mask. I don't know what it's called, but you guys get the gist. Like promised, I'm going to be going over my Christmas wish list if you stayed along. If you stayed around along for English. If you stayed long enough to get here, you're a real one. Comment down below, I'm a real one because I appreciate you. My whole list consists of Nike track suits and books. And that's not interesting. So technically this is kind of a gift guide too. So we have a title for today's vlogmas video. But the first thing I asked my mom for was the Amanda Rach Lee 2020 doodle planner because I tried bullet journaling earlier this year and it didn't really work. She came up with a planner where it's like pre-written in bullet journal. You can like color and everything. So we're gonna give that a try once again. And then I asked for a gray Adidas sweatshirt. Love a good hoodie moment. Um, I also asked for a lavender Nike sweatshirt and jogger set so I can have a lavender track suit. Then I also asked for a navy green Nike tracksuit along with kind of pinkish pink quartz Nike tracksuit and then a black Nike tracksuit and then let's go over the books that I asked for I asked for the five second journal by Mel Robbins the lunar abundance reflective journal by Ezzy Spencer who am I by life of school star power by Vanessa Montgomery the daily spell journal by Patty Wing Wing Wingington Wigington. The Year I Will by Tiffany Louise. And then I also asked for a swivel fan because I have to go to sleep in the cold. Like, it cannot be hot when I go to sleep because I literally can't go to sleep if my body, like, doesn't feel a certain temperature because I don't know what it is. Like, don't question my decision. I then asked my mom for a gray Polaroid camera and then these Favor Duo Tip washable markers. There's, like, 24 markers, 48. Because, you know, if I get the bullet journal, I might as well get the markers to color in. You know what I'm saying? A huge part of my list consists of, like, DIY skincare and hair care and body care because if you didn't know i am starting my own body care hair care and skincare line sometime in the next few years and i decided what better way to get started into it is to get the kids to help make it and learn more about stuff and what's good for people's skin body and hair that's literally it for my wish list now moving on to more of a gift guide thing if you don't know what to get like a teen girl you could definitely get her a polaroid camera because those are all in the rage right now and target always has them on sale so that's just a go-to you can always get them like these things that i was talking 
talking about earlier in the video, like these really nice blankets. And then you can also get them a pair of AirPods if you're willing to spend that money. I don't know about the pro. She has to tell you how she feels about that because everybody's not made for that lifestyle, including myself. Vans, those are also a really good gift. Just some slip ons. You can get some custom done painted with like sunflowers because everybody just loves a good sunflower nowadays. You can get them one of my merch pieces when I restock. See what I did there? Any merchandise from their favorite creators. Socks are never wrong. Old Navy had dollar socks for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so why would you fumble the bag like that? But other than that, I mean, I'm sorry if I got your hopes up thinking that I asked for a lot of stuff when I didn't. So this kind of this was kind of more of like a merch-related video, but I promise I go to school tomorrow for the first time in five days. I'll be vlogging school until I'm out. For those people who are like, oh my god, do a school vlog. I'm at school for an hour a day. I have nothing to vlog. But that's it for today's Vlogmas Day 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though I kind of catfished you with the title, not even gonna lie. I hope you still enjoyed it so you can see how I do my merch, which is something you will be seeing me do every day because I have to package and ship them out every day, along with plan new designs every day. I hope I didn't get your hopes up with the wish list because, I mean, I don't ask my parents for a lot of things because I feel bad when I ask for things. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning into Vlogmas Day 2. I promise you when I get in the groove of school and homework, this will be more interesting just give me a couple days to get comfortable when it comes to uploading every day again let me know if you have any other suggestions for vlogmas or videos you want to see down below make sure you follow my social medias that includes my instagram twitter and snapchat well just really instagram and twitter because i don't use snapchat make sure you follow my spam account on instagram specifically so you can keep up with me when i am not on my main account and my twitter if you have it because to heat that's where i be lit but other than that thank you guys so much again for watching sorry for catfishing you and i hope you have a great rest of your morning evening, or night wherever you're in the world and i'll see you guys tomorrow Stay cool. Bye, my Jolly Beans.